Okay, so we are going to be learning about factoring trinomials. So this is putting everything that we learned last week into one thing. So factoring you guys have done before, but probably not with a box and diamond. So using this process, to, um, so we're first going to, factoring trinomials is, an un, is unmultiplying them. So remember, um, a trinomial you can get by multiplying two binomials. So we are going to try to unmultiply them, okay? So use this process to factor trinomials in the form of this. So every trinomial that we see has to be in that form for box and diamond to work, okay? So here is one example. So one example, so we're first going to do our diamond. So you are going to take the first term and the last term and multiply them. So three times five is 15. So 15 X squared goes on the top. Now your middle term goes on the bottom. Okay, so that's your first step. First times the last goes on the top, middle goes on the bottom. Now, we've done this m several times last week, so you need to multiply to 15x squared and add to 16x. So here is, remember we talked about looking at just the variables, so we put an x and an x. Then we have to figure out what multiplies to 15 and adds to 16. Well, if you start with, whoops, 15 and one, you would see that, get, that gives you 16. So we don't have to do anymore. So 15 and 1x. So now comes the box. So you are going to put the first term in one box. Kitty corner, you're going to put the last term. Now the two that you just found this one and this one. You are going to put in the other two boxes. It does not matter which one, which way. Now we are going to um, do GCF just like you did before. So you are going to first look the rows. So after you look at the rows, so 3x squared and x they both have an x. 15x and 5, they both have a 5. Now, if you need to write out the factors, go for it. Um, if you don't, then don't need to. So here, if we look up and down now, they both have a 3 and they both have an x. So this is 3x. Up and down is x and 5. So they don't have anything in common. So that means that they have a one in common because five times one and one times X. Now, these are your two factors. If there is not a negative, we are just gonna add them. So three X plus one, X plus five. There's my answer. So if you really understood last week, then putting them together is not gonna be a big deal and you can just keep trucking away and factoring is super easy. If last week was a little bit tricky for you, then you might need to um, ask for help. So let's do it again. So remember, you're gonna take the first times the last to get 20X. You're putting the middle term, or X squared, sorry. And then the middle term is down at the bottom. So x and x give you x squared. x plus x gives you some sort of x. So now I need to look at 20 and what multiplies to get you negative 9. So 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 5 and 4. Well, 5 and 4 give me positive 9. So to get negative, I just make them both negative. So negative five, negative four.
multiply to a positive, add to negative 9. Okay? All right, so now let's do your box. Remember the first term, the last term, and then the two terms you found. Whoa. All right, so this is... Um, x squared goes in one box, 20 goes in another box, and then your two side factors go in the other two boxes, and they always go kitty corner, okay? Doesn't really matter which box, but they have to go kitty corner. So now I look at the rows. So x squared and negative 4x. Well, they only have an x in common. Negative 5 and 20. I do know that... 20 is 5, okay? Since this first term is negative, let's make that one negative. So this is going to be negative 5, okay? Now up and down, I see an x squared and a negative 5x. So that means they only have an x in common. Here, I see a negative 4x and a 20. So since that x is um, negative, we are going to make this negative 4, since you can do negative 4 in the 20. So your two factors are x minus 4 and x minus 5. So because the 4 was negative, that's why it's minus 4. Because the 5 was negative, that's why it's minus 5. So, those are your first two examples. If you have questions, make sure you touch base with your teacher so they can explain it more. All right, we have two more um, before we are done. So I'm going to... Go maybe a little bit faster on these two because hopefully we're kind of catching on a little bit. So if you need to slow down, pause it, rewind, do so. Negative 24x squared, negative 5x. So negative 24. I look and I want to get negative 5. So that means negative uh, 8 and 3. Give me negative 5. So that's negative 8x and 3x. So if you didn't quite get there, that's fine. You can write them all out, not a big deal. Some of you are probably past that, or at least for some of the, some of the numbers, not maybe everyone. All right, so now I have 12x squared, negative 2, negative 8x, and 3x. So now I want to look at my GCF. So they both have a 3 and an x in the top row. So if they have a 3 and an x here, so that means 3x is my GCF. They're both negative, so they both have a negative, and they both have a 2. Now up and down, the 8 is, um, 8 doesn't go into 12, but 4 does, and 4 goes into 12, so they both have a 4, and they both have an x. Here they both don't have anything, so that means they just have a 1. Now, because our highest value is positive on both of these, if you look here and here, the 12 is positive and the 3 is positive. We're going to leave this as a positive. Both of those is positive. So your answer is 3x minus 2, 4x plus 1. Okay, one last one. Hopefully this will maybe be the glue that holds everything together. 
So this is negative 24x squared. 5x is on the bottom. Well, this is very similar number-wise because you're trying to find 24, but you're finding positive 5 instead of negative 5. So the only difference is 8 and negative 3, not negative 8 and 3. So 8x, negative 3x. So there's my box. Four x squared, negative six, eight x, and negative three x. So then, okay, so I didn't have much room on the side here, so I'll maybe go on the left side this time. So four x squared and negative three x. So they only have an x in common. Here, this one is four and two, and this one is three and two, so they only have th two in common. Up and down, they both have a 4, and they both have an x, so this is 4x. And they both are negative, and they both have a 3. So your answer is x plus 2, 4x minus 3. All right, so we are going to be doing more and more of these. Um, we are Your teacher is going to give you a learning log paper that you are going to write out and turn in, but it's a good thing to maybe think about a little bit before um, you get to, the, to class is how would you explain factoring the trinomial of how I just did it? Um, title this entry, Factoring Trinomials. Um, include today's date, and you can do the date when you get it in class. So B kids would get it uh, after A kids. So just make sure that you are kind of thinking about how to explain. You will have to turn in a learning log. Okay? All right. Um, you are ready for your homework.